G'day and welcome to another episode. My name is Dave Stroh, the Aussie Geek, and this is part six of Terminator Resistance. So, we have finished Pasadena and we have gone back home again. Pasadena is far gone, but I managed to complete the first mission as a tech comm soldier. Now it's time to say goodbye to my companions before I go and join Commander Baron and her South Division. And we'll see how this goes. Now as far as I know, there's nothing we've missed here. We've got everything. I suppose we can always take a peek, so just in case something's re-popped up, but I doubt it. I think I'm just wasting time, honestly. Talk to Jennifer. Well, first we'll have to see what we can trade. Alright, so... I'm gonna take that out just in case, but we're gonna sell... that. I'm gonna sell that. I'll keep those for the time being. Oh, we can sell chips. I'll have to fiddle with that in a minute. Ah, crap, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so. Oh, we're still using that, aren't we? Because we have. Have we got access to. Weapons. Use Skynet's first generation plasma weapon. So I do have access to stage one, which should be these ones. Thank you, car going past. That was very kind of you. Alright, so we'll get rid of these. So uh, we have 65 on its own. Mm, yes. And that's 75 on its own. Alright. I'm going to have to lean forward a bit so I can actually read these. Because unfortunately I am on a TV. So let's see. We have fire rate. Stability. 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 Um, not sure what that one says. Fire rate. Clip. Stability. Stability. Not a lot in the way of damage. Um, if we put that there. Ability. Fire rate. Put that there. Stability there. And we just need a square. And a two. I know I probably should have start, done this beforehand, but oh well. Um, another. I think that's firing rate. Yep. Which I'm not too worried about. Firing faster. Clip might be helpful though. So if I put that in there and change the stability to that one all right so it gives us 10% damage 23% clip and extra stability so we'll hold on to that one have a quick look in here we got 11 damage clip 12 and damage 14 took so a two lots of damage which has so far been pretty helpful um, stability hasn't been too much of a fire around. I definitely don't want to fire faster. Uh, it looks like a 34. So what have we got to swap the clips around? Um, wouldn't mind a little bit more firepower. I'm not really seeing it. Uh, I need three on the outside. Kind of wish this was like Robocop, so you just short change the angles. But unfortunately, this is definitely before Robocop. 
Um, stability. That's another damage. Firing rate, clip. I don't think I've really got anything. I think I'll leave that the way it is, honestly. And I'll switch that plasma rifle up from that one. I'll figure out which exact angle I'm supposed to be for these. Okay, get the guns out anyway. All right, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Uh, what's that? Energy cells. Uh, medium ammunition for automatic rifles. We're not using auto rifles now. So that can go. Small caliber. I'm not using that anymore. Um, shotgun rounds can go. I'm not using that. So that should be it. Grab some more health. Grab a few more lock picks. Um, I think that'll. Oh, I'll grab some pipe bombs just in case I need them. And that'll do. Alright, let's speak to Jennifer. Jacob, how is Pasadena? Uh, you know what? Forget I asked. I don't want to know. I'm just glad that you're alright. And how are you doing? I guess I'm a little nervous before tomorrow. Have you decided what's going to happen? Aren't you curious what happened in Pasadena? Let's ask her. Aren't you curious about what happened in Pasadena? No. I think I'd rather keep that place in the past. Actually, I have a confession to make. I've never been outside of Pasadena until now. Can you believe that? Pretty weak for a scavenger. How's that even possible? That's not surprising after all. That's where home is. But that's mm. not surprising. After all, that's where your home is. Where it used to be. Right now, I'm going to try someplace new to call home. I did my traveling through pictures and postcards that wanderers brought with them. My favorite had a little flamingo drinking water from a lake on it. Its long red neck curved like a snake. Patrick's mother gave me that postcard. Hmm. It's funny how I never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick's leave him. Thought Patrick was your brother. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Mm. Let's be sorry. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Don't be. I had a pretty good childhood, apart from the nuclear holocaust and all. I remember the day Patrick's mom brought him in. They were both tired and dirty, so we took care of them. Patrick was crying a lot. He was teething at the time. I think that was what scared her away. She just couldn't handle the crying. Hmm. How was she? I guess I'd be scared too. Did you blame her? Mm. How was she? I loved her. For the time she was with us, I like to pretend she was my mother too. After she took off, I was devastated. But my father said, You need to grow up. You have a brother now. So I burned the postcard. The little red flamingo flew up in flames. And I promised myself I'd never be weak again. But I guess we all need someone we can be weak with sometimes, don't we? Have you decided what's going to you're going to do? I, I never asked you. What are you planning to do tomorrow? I've been meaning to tell you earlier, but I panicked. And that's because I decided to go with Ryan. We'll find somewhere safe, away from all this. You have to understand, I need to do what's best for Patrick. I'm his big sis. I need to protect him. I... I haven't told him yet. He'll be devastated leaving you and Aaron, but I think it's for the best. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Really? That's the only one I'm going to talk to? Radio. Right Time to go for sleep. Wake up. We need to move. 
What? What's going on? Everyone, wake up! You need to get out of here. Who the fuck are you? <clears throat> it doesn't matter. What matters is that you can't stay here any longer. She asked a question, and I suggest answering. You don't want to do that. I've got this place rigged with explosives, and there's a detonator in my pocket. You got what? Would you mind? Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? You have to get out of here. Skynet's on its way. They finally found you. What do you mean, they found us? They were looking for us? Not for you. Me. For him. He's essential to winning this war. Skynet knows that. That's why they've been following him for months. I have to make sure nothing happens to him. In a couple of minutes, an infiltrator will walk in here trying to kill him. I can't let that happen. We have to bury that Terminator here once and for all. All right, everybody, you heard him. Let's get moving. I'll get the bus ready. There's no time for that. There's a passage here. It will lead you out. Use it. <gasps> what was that? Here it comes. All right, everyone, get out! Jacob! Give me that. It's the same one. It's the same model. Leave! Now! How the hell's he still alive? Go, go, go! Watch out! Don't just stand there! Run! Guess they're coming with me after all. Resistance shelter. We were able to escape thanks to the stranger. He sacrificed himself and buried that infiltrator once and for all. But with Patrick hurt from the explosion, others had no other option. They had to join me at the resistance shelter. Baron, listen to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in, on her terms. The shelter was on high alert, but thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. later we got back to Pasadena geez we just got out of there oh this place oh I'm gonna go back out there and go to that door that's annoying I hope there's a new game plus I really gotta finish my Robocop new game plus too in the box Sergeant at ease okay, Jen. well look at you sergeant when you helped us in Pasadena the other day I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private sorry for underestimating you I guess I should salute or something Getting ready for another scavenging run? How's Patrick? Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. I need to report to Baron. Oh, we got a level up too. I didn't even notice that. Well, we can't touch another level in weapons because we're not high enough. Not sure what level that is. We're maxed out on stealth, which is probably going to be useful. I can do hacking or crafting. If 
fast learn is done. Backpack I'd always do, but so far I've been pretty good with storage. I go hacking this time, but the next level up is going to be crafting. Because I start, need to start building those Terminator knives. Rivers, DN46890. The commander is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. No problem, Sonny. Oh, I don't get to sign the paperwork? Marachino Charons again. Where do they keep finding this shit? <clears throat> I don't get it. How did they bring that buggy down here? That's funny. <laughs> I'm going out soon. I haven't made my daily quota yet. I still have three more rats to catch. If you see one, let me know, okay? No problem at all. Hey, I'm just catching up with Mark. I'll get back to work in a couple of minutes. <coughs> you won't tell, right? Uh, but, but no, seriously, you won't tell, right? Sure. I can't get behind you, so never mind. <coughs> Do you need anything? I don't know. Let's have a look to see if you had. Can I see your hardware? <laughs> hmm. I got one damage. Just in case that stability. 20 damage. I'll probably find some. How much are the Terminator knives? 500 each. I'll take all those. Um, med kits, 500. I'm pretty good so far when it comes to finances. So far being the operative word. Um, yeah, let's not go that stupid. That'd probably be a bad idea. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Uh, exactly as you would imagine. Barons keep me busy. They weren't kidding when they said she's a hard ass. About that camp. What happened after you started your camp? Honestly, not that much. At least not in the beginning. When we gave up on the idea of getting in touch with anyone, we just tried to adapt. Temperatures fell, we had to scavenge for food. All of a sudden, that became our life. Didn't try home? When did you first hear about Skynet? Didn't you try to reach home? Some people did. Most of us were scared of what we'd find if we did get home, so we conveniently said we're stranded here anyways and stayed. Well, I know how stupid it sounds, but we managed to have fun in our little commune. I still had my guitar with me and talked a lot about how we're going to be famous because we're the only living band in the world. Hmm. What was your band's name? Well, we were thinking about changing it to Survivors, but something similar was already taken. We were just stupid kids, not realizing what was going on. We paid the price for it the first time we saw a tin can. I was tuning my guitar when I heard a strange noise. I found out later that it was a T-400. Must have heard me play. It didn't even have the decency to look scary. Maybe if it did, we wouldn't have just stood there when it started firing. What did you do? I froze. I didn't run to help. I didn't scream. I didn't even move. I just stood there, like a coward. A tin can got Tucker with a single bullet. Bam, just like that. Seven other people died before we finally destroyed that thing. 
Ironically enough, I was the one who delivered the final blow. Safe to say, it was the beginning of a new era. Hmm. What did you hear? A lot of rumors going around of how she's sending insubordinate workers to the front line. And by insubordinate, I mean people who ain't willing to work 18 hours a day, every day. That's one way to go about it. Mm, how are we going here? Locked, so nothing at the moment. Uh, no chats in. Ooh. Ooh, I see resources. So where is the hole in the wall? I'm guessing right there. Do I either that or I just gotta find a way around the other side? Hey, Aaron. Are you all right? Me? Honey, I'm about the most well-adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. Jennifer? I'm worried about her. I'm the one that asked Baron to give her team a little break. Jennifer's been busy <coughs> scavenging supplies for the soldiers, and she hardly had time to see Patrick. And now she's finally got a day off. She's avoiding him like the plague. Once I want to click, you mean Ryan? Ryan ain't so hot either, but that's another story. Wow, that was a quick response. How's Patrick doing? He's fine, but it wouldn't kill you if you checked on him yourself. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say the resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for him. <clears throat> I don't believe that for a second. And what about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. Take care. Well, that conversation went well. Mm, workbench. We don't need to... Actually, we'll have a look see what we can craft. So we've unlocked... Uh, all plasma bolts. But we can't use them yet. So I'd say the next level will hopefully give us access to the Terminator knives. We can make 21 lockpicks. How many do we have? We have 11, so I think we're good for a bit. Dog's getting big. How are you doing? Good. Aaron's going to let me leave in a couple of days. Thanks for bringing that chalk. I've been drawing a lot. I'd be so bored without it. How do you like living in the shelter? There's a lot of people here. I like that. I heard a funny joke yesterday. You want to hear it? Sure. Yeah, tell me. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that's pretty bad. That's funny. I know, right? How's Jennifer? She's out a lot, but I understand. She's a scavenger. I have to go. Wow, that was a quick chat. Aaron's probably not going to say anything more to me. My resources there. Alton lost his spider scout again. Man, I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. Almost gave me a heart attack. I'm assuming this is locked. Yeah. Climb through some pipage. Okay, 
quick. That can't be all. Let's see any way of... Yes, because that was something I really needed to take a photo of. I can't figure out which way I'm going this way. Actually, you know what? Let's be smart and actually just get the torch out. I was going to say it's in very one way. Alright, so that gets me here. So that's how to get back into the prep room. There should be. I'm just trying to figure out how to get that stuff on top. Okay, so that's the room. So it should be to my right, but I'm not seeing any things unless that was just the resources that I picked up there. Oh well, I think we've spent enough time crawling through the ventilation system. Let's go see what Baron has to say. Ooh. Memorandum. Commander Baron, I was very pleased to read the mission report from Pasadena. You are probably aware of this, but it is essential that we mobilize all our troops in the air, in your, tr all the troops in your area, and abandon all level three outposts. I understand the consequences and will take full responsibility for this. As for Private Rivers, I believe he deserves recognition for his actions. Perhaps a promotion is in order. I'll leave this decision to you. I will want you to keep him close. Signed, John Connor. Los Angeles, something, something. All right, Baron. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned, so I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing, but Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. How did you end up here? If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. I am. But since you did, I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, and given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? Because we ha we don't have a choice, because it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. There's nothing noble in what we do. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. Mm, probably true. Uh, if that's how you view many are we even worth fighting for, that doesn't mean we should give up and stop fighting. So I guess we should thank the machines for teaching us compassion. So, I guess we should thank the machines for teaching us compassion. I guess we should. I have my special way of thanking them. A shot to the skull from a plasma rifle. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. 
I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. Ooh. Who wants to be a bully? What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference? I don't treat them as equals. And although I know they're just machines, I want them to fear me. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit, it has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, Rivers. It takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. <laughs> is there a problem with the radio? Is there a problem with the radio? The Annihilation Line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Central Core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the Central Core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. Yes, ma'am. here and see if I did get that resource. Nope, still there. Oh, are you kidding? I could just reach through. Alright, uh, there's gotta be another way in there because that's gotta be convenient. in. Oh, here we go. Oh, really? Of course there's no things. But there is some more passages, so maybe that's how I get in there. Right here. Oh, here we go. Come on, that should have at least been a uh, achievement. Crawl through the maze or something. And I was nowhere even near where I thought I was. Whoa, what the hell? They just gave me a shiver up my spine. Excuse the yawn. I'm not tired. I'm not exhausted. Uh, try that again. I'm not tired of doing this. I'm just gonna have a very long day. I've only had one cup of coffee and I don't like having them while I record, so. Yeah. Because it just makes me sound like I'm slurping into the mic. Yep, let's leave the area. The fur cup of water instead downtown with the annihilation line under control we got some time to prepare a counterattack. in the meantime commander baron wants me to check out alvin who is downtown doing maintenance work for our defensive systems all right let me just check something to one, three. So I'm just checking how the inventory looks. So one, two, three. I guess that's four. More wounded! We need a medic over here! I'm telling you, I saw something. What's happening, Private? A couple of aerials flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but I 
think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. That's not good. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? Understood. Go ahead, sir. Me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir.
we got a skill point up, so that's a plus. And we were looking at crafting, weren't we? before those tanks reach us! Oh, shit! We're too late. They're already here. system's not working. They are working, but their target filter has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did! Baron's messengers? We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Uh-oh. Are you all right? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Ah! Go! I don't like this! I don't like any of this! Ariel! Okay, go! It's turning around! It's right behind us! Don't look back! Good idea!
Well, that turned out better than I expected. Resistance shelter. All the advantages that... Well, try that again. All the advantages that we managed to gain is now lost. Downtime has gone and the Annihilation Line will continue to push forward. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming. Ooh. Achievement. You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. Geez, that's nice here. Alright, let's see if we can't pick something up from communications. Huh, wasn't expecting to find you here. You always seem to be out these days. Yeah, that's true. Lately, I've been making extra runs to stock up on resources. The truth is, I was even thinking about leaving. <coughs> but right now, I'm just waiting for my team to head back to downtown to look for other survivors. Good luck with that. Let's hope there still are some. See, Patrick is doing better. Why did you want to leave? Is there something on your mind? Is there something on your mind? Actually, I have a secret to tell you. You've a fan. Patrick really looks up to you. It's good for him to have a role model. And I don't think he could have chosen better. Aww. I don't think I'd make a good role model. Thank you. It means a lot. Thank you. It means a lot. Are you kidding? It's the least I can do for helping us all this time. If you hadn't found us back in Pasadena, I don't know what would have happened. Well, actually I do. Exactly what the others said would happen. People were talking about the Annihilation Line months before it came. <coughs> Father, of course, tried to turn it all into a joke. But what did you think about it? Knowing your father, it could have been a good joke. But what did you think about it? I didn't know what to think. Travelers would bring all sorts of gossip with them. But this kept coming back. <coughs> when Patrick asked me if I was scared, I lied and said that I wasn't. You could feel the mood change at the house. The community my father tried to build started falling apart. Fewer and fewer people were coming by. And if they did, they weren't always friendly started to notice things going missing. Little things at first. People got nervous. <coughs> and with time, it even got to my father. What do you mean? Did it ever get to you? What do you mean? Well, for one thing, he stopped making jokes. It had never been as quiet at the house as it had been back then. After a while, my father changed the sign from welcome to beware. He put a lock on the door started carrying a shotgun. I didn't even know he owned a gun. He always said he didn't believe in them. They wanted us to leave our house and run, but he didn't want to listen. He said it was the only place he could keep us safe. Thanks for letting me spill my guts like that. Well, considering how I found him... I see that Patrick's doing better. He is. He's a fighter. Certainly has more courage than I do. Why did you want to leave? In the face of what's going on now, it will sound stupid, but... It just got to be a bit much, you know? With Patrick heard, I start to wonder if I'm even doing him any good by sticking around. I've been trying to protect him all this time, but I couldn't. I've proven that much already. First in Pasadena, then at our hideout. I was thinking that maybe he'd be safer here at the shelter. But don't worry, I've changed my mind since. That's good. I like having you around. Oh, so there's nothing back there. Uh, we've got... Actually, let's see what we can sell. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Alright, let's see what we picked up. So, that can go, that can go. Let's save that. How much ammunition we got? We got 323. We still do have quite a bit of ammo. Laser guided RL43. And rail plasma, which we already have. I'm assuming that's just a average rifle. 
Ooh, 140. Classic weapon integrated with first generation plasma. Munition. Classic gun. That's a lot. 140. 75. That tells me that's a sniper rifle, honestly. Single shot rocket launcher with laser sight. 3,550. I have a feeling we'd find one of those. Firing rate 120. Oh, there might be a bit of thing out of that. 140 damage, 125 fire rate. What's the fire rate for the other one? 475, so it's a, it's basically a rifle. Mm -mm. I think we'll leave for the moment. So far my other one's doing pretty damn well. You two look sketchy. Hey, are you all right? We just got the news about the attack. We're getting closer, aren't we? Yep. Hey, <laughs> glad to see you alive. Thanks for sticking your neck out for us. I wanted to tell you that, you know, just in case. Oh, thanks. Alvin's not talking to us. Lay still. Don't move. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I want to play it for you, but my boombox is busted. So uh, if you're out there and find one that works, bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just think about it, okay? Sure. Alright, let's see what we can get now with the crafting table. So we can build termination knives. So all oh, we're missing is the gas grenade, the sticky bomb. And that's pretty much everything. So I'm wondering what whether level five we'll make three oh we can make eight of those. Sure, why not? So it basically runs on fuel cells. Makes a lot of sense. Oops, wrong button. Uh, skills. Crafting. Yeah, so we've got one more level of crafting, so, so the other ones. Alright, so that gives us now... 11 termination knives when I actually need them. Nothing down there. What have we got right here for? Oh, that's my for when we leave. Actually, where's Patrick? Aaron? Oh, I've passed Aaron. Come on, pardon. Jacob. What's in your mind? Ever since you asked me about Peter, I can't stop thinking about it. Like a teenage girl. <laughs> That's your fault, young man. You're welcome. Have you tried looking for him? Are you thinking about anything in particular? Are you thinking about anything in particular? About the day we first met. It was long before Judgment Day. I was getting coffee on my way to school. I noticed him because he was buying tea in a coffee shop. I don't know why, but that made me smile. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should stop thinking about him. He's... He's probably dead by now. God knows he can't take care of himself. Do you want to find him? Do you want to find him? Sometimes I think I should drop everything and go. I would get an earful from Baron, but she's nothing I can't handle. Hmm. Anyway, what I didn't tell you before is that during Judgment Day, I lost a child. Our child. I don't know if it would have happened anyway, but I like to blame the machines for that. 
I think that Piro felt with Taylor we were given a second chance. God, he's still out there waiting for me, isn't he? Probably sitting in his rocking chair back in our house in Hollywood Hills. Oh, where the hell are you, Peter? <coughs> How are the wounded doing? The few that came back, they're doing fine. We patched them up, and at this point, we're just sitting and waiting. Okay, so where is Patrick, that quartermaster? Mark? Alvin? Apparently, he does want to talk to me. Jennifer? Ryan? Uh, that's a little bit concerning. Where's Patrick? Alright, we're gonna try to talk to Ryan again because last uh, Ryan, Alvin, because last time it didn't want to do anything. Alright, so we got Alvin there, but yeah, there's no prompt. Alright, let's go see Baron. No new messages left behind. Rivers. You want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much. But how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. Now that you mention it... What? One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Yes, ma'am. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the Resistance. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. You killed a drone with a rock. You killed a drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine, he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. <laughs> I sure made his day. The huge guy was that Perry? That huge guy? Was that Perry? Yes, it was. Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to this? Let's ask about Perry. Bug of the Whatever cycles. happened to Perry? Skynet got hold of our position. We had to leave our shelter. There were a lot of casualties, and he was one of them. He died a soldier. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first medal I ever destroyed. Sounds like you were late to joining the Destroy Skynet campaign. I'm not surprised, you were just a kid. The first medal you destroyed, it was one of, one of ours. Now, not a great start. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. You were still just a kid. That doesn't mean I didn't have a kill count back then. It just consisted of people. But that's a different story. Hmm. You want me to break the radio you silence? You want me to break radio silence? 
They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Yes, ma'am. Can't level up. Um... So, with stealth max, explosives. 100% more damage with grenades and explosives. Science. Craft consumes. Oh, 50% less resources. That'd actually be worthwhile. Backpack. So, I think what I might do is might go through crafting. At least that way it'll help out with the resource count. Travel to the warehouse, travel to the warehouse. Let's double check that. Oh, there's Patrick. Wrong way. <clears throat> Patrick, you're up? There are people who need help more than me. Anyway, I can't talk. I have to bring something important to Aaron. Oh? Medicine? Well, uh, that was a quick conversation. I don't think we really got anybody. Alright, so Alvin's still got an exclamation above his head, so maybe you'll start talking now? Maybe? Yep, there he is. Uh, did you talk to her? I is she mad at me? If I follow her orders, then I'm a bad guy. If I don't follow her orders, then I'm a lousy, incompetent egghead without a spine. There's no winning with her. Well, that was a quick conversation. I think that's everybody. Patrick, Aaron, uh, Jennifer, Ryan. All right, time to go to the door. So I think we'll leave this one here. It's been quite the episode. We got a nice bit of action. We got a nice bit of leveling up going. So uh, yeah. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. I promise you, it will not hurt my feelings. Subscribe or ring that bell, leave me a comment. But uh, apart from that, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later.